Fields of Mystery as a farm sim RPG with stunning visuals inspired by the late 90s. And it just released in early access a few days back. And I have been obsessed. What makes the game stand out for me are the characters. How fully fleshed out they are and the world they live in. And here I am waiting to be a part of that. The sooner the better. So I collated a list of gifts to increase their relationship with me and I'll be sharing it with you. In this video, we'll not only go through what easy items you can gift to every marriage candidate, villager, and Saturday market vendor, but also how to acquire those items early in your gameplay. The order will be by birth dates, but don't worry, we'll be adding timestamps for easier access. Just a gentle reminder that the game is still in early access, and the game will have a lot more updates and balancing to come, so please do expect some changes as the game proceeds on its development. This is currently the version that I have tried these. So without further ado, grab your snacks and let's start with How the Gifting Points System Works All characters have preferences on what they like, what they love, what they hate, and so on. Depending on whether the gift is a loved or liked gift, there will be corresponding points. And giving it on their birthday will also give an additional boost. Giving a loved gift will increase your relationship by double the amount compared to a liked gift. But giving a liked gift is better compared to a neutral gift. Disliked and hated gifts will not decrease the relationship, at least as of this version. That said, our focus will be on loved and liked gifts. So let's proceed with the marriage candidates, starting with the earliest birthday celebrant, Rias, on Spring 4. He loves hardwood, which you can get from chopping these stumps. To chop these, you would need a copper axe which is pretty easy to forge, however the mines won't be opened by his first birthday. So you would have to settle with his liked gifts, wood and stone for his birthday. You get wood from chopping branches and trees, and stone from smashing rocks. In case you want to save on these materials, the iced coffee that can be bought from the Saturday market is also a light gift. Moving on to March, whose birthday is on Spring 16. He loves perfect ores like copper, iron, and silver that you can get from the mines. It is, however, a pretty uncommon drop. I myself have only gotten two of these, so I settled with a light gift, ores. Any type of ores and ingots is a liked gift. You can get ores from the mines, while ingots can be acquired in the forge while you will need ores. So just go for ores for a quick relationship boost. March also likes any or most meals prepared with fish ingredients, so if you don't have the time to go to the mines, you can either cook or buy these types of meals at the inn. Next up is Balor, whose birthday is on Summer 10. He loves the artifacts, family crest pendant, and all the gem bracelet. You can get these from digging. I usually get duplicates of these a lot, but it still is random. So an easier way to increase his relationship is to give him a snowdrop anemone that you can forge in spring, or a rose that you can forge in summer instead. He also likes ruby or sapphire, which you can get from the mines. If you have a copper pickaxe, you can also smash these large rocks which drop sapphire. Then we have Celine, whose birthday is on summer 14. She loves middle mist and snowdrop anemone, both of which can be forged in spring. You can find Middle Mist here. Hydrangea and Rose also works if you're already in summer. You can find hydrangeas around town during summer. While waiting for the Middle Mist and Snowdrop anemone to grow back, and if you can't wait for summer, then the spring forageable flowers also work as like gifts. These are Tulip, Daffodil, Dandelion, and Lilac. She basically likes all flowers, really. Up next is Aelin, whose birthday is on summer 20. He loves sweets like the ice cream sundae and strawberry shortcake that you can buy from the Saturday market, albeit a bit expensive. What I do is I give him the rewards from Adeline's requests. The rewards are usually sweets, so you can save them up for this young lord. As for the liked gift, an easy recipe for me is the candied strawberries. I think you will unlock this the day after you ship your first strawberries. And the recipe only calls for strawberry and sugar, which you can buy from the general store. If you think cooking is a hassle, you can also buy the candied strawberries, wild berry pie, and pudding from the Saturday market which is significantly cheaper than his loved gifts. Then we have Valen whose birthday is on Fall 1. She generally loves soup, however the recipes are a bit too complicated to acquire and make. You could buy vegetable soup at the inn, at least that's one of the more usual meals the inn sells. As for an easier liked gift, she likes dandelion and nettle that you can forage in spring. She also likes her coffee and green tea that you can buy at the Saturday market. Moving on to Reina, whose birthday is on Fall 12. She loves a lot of pretty complicated meals to cook, but it's not something I could acquire in my early weeks. 
If the ice cream sundae comes up at the Saturday market, you could consider buying it, but it is pretty expensive. A quick and easy light gift for her, however, is the daffodil which you can forge in spring. The coffee and iced coffee from the Saturday market is also a light gift and way cheaper than the ice cream sundae. Up next is Juniper, whose birthday is on Fall 26. She loves the ancient royal scepter that you can acquire from digging. I usually get duplicates of these a lot, just a bit random. She also loves the mushroom brew that you can get from the Saturday market. She likes middle mist and nettle that you can forage in spring. Monster powder and red toadstool are also like gifts. You can get these from the mushroom enemies at the mines. Then we have Hayden whose birthday is on winter 8. He loves any golden produce that you can get from ranching. He also loves pumpkin pie which you can get from the Saturday market. It is however pretty expensive. He likes any kind of produce like eggs and milk and their milk counterparts like cheese, butter, and mayo. He also likes coffee from the Saturday market. Next up is Adeline whose birthday is on winter 18. She loves middle mist, a spring forageable, and coffee which you can buy at the Saturday market. She likes tulip, a spring flower, and lemon and peach, fruits that you can forage. She also likes paper which you can buy from the general store but you can also make it with a mill using fiber. Moving on to the non-romanceable villagers. First up is Ulrich. We are still waiting for the petition to make him a marriage candidate. But nevertheless, we'll proceed with the status quo and start with him. His birthday is on spring 10, and similar to his brother, he likes any perfect ores. Copper, iron, silver, and the like. He also loves perfect gems. These are also uncommon, but you can also get them from the mines. His select gifts are stones, gems, and ores all of which you can get from smashing rocks at the mines. The stones you can get from any rock around town and your farm. Up next is Luke, whose birthday is on spring 21. He loves grilled cheese that you can buy from the inn. He also loves bumblebee which can be found around town on a sunny day in any season except winter. His select gifts are hot chocolate that you can buy from the Saturday market and common insects like the worm, ant, cricket, and butterfly that you can catch around town. Next up is Elsie. Her birthday is on summer too. She loves the Alda Feather Pendant, an artifact you can get from digging, Rose, a summer flower that you can get from her garden, and Wild Berry Scone, a dessert you can make or buy from the inn and from the Saturday market, and similar to her niece, Paper, that you can buy from the general store or make yourself with a mill using fiber. She likes flowers like lilac and tulips in spring, and cosmos and iris in summer. Then we have Josephine, whose birthday is summer 16. She loves tea, green tea, jasmine tea, roasted rice tea, roast tea, and tea with lemon. The drinks and recipes can be bought at the Saturday market and her inn. Her light gifts are wild berry jam, you can make it using wild berries and sugar, and cooking ingredients like flour, sugar, rice, oil, and soy sauce that can be bought at the general store. Some could be made using the mill, but the required items aren't as easy to acquire in the early weeks. Up next is Nora, whose birthday is on summer 24. She loves the ancient gold coin artifact that you can get from digging. Her light gifts are baked potato and coconut milk, both of which have only one ingredient, potato and coconut respectively. She also likes coffee and latte, which you can buy from the Saturday market. Moving on to Maple, whose birthday is on summer 26. She loves hot chocolate that you can buy from the Saturday market. Her light gifts are sand dollar that you can forage from the beach, trail mix that you can craft using berries and water chestnuts, and tulip that you can forge in spring. Then we have Landon whose birthday is on fall 4. Similar to his nephew, he loves hardwood. You can get them from these stumps. You would however need a copper axe to chop these. He likes stone, wood, paper, and coconut. You can get paper from the general store or make them with a mill using fiber. As for the coconut, you can get them at the beach during summer. Next up is Holt. His birthday is on fall 14. He loves flour, which you can buy from his general store, hardwood, which you can get from chopping these stumps, and coffee, which you can buy from the Saturday market. He also loves baked potato, which you can cook using only a potato. You unlock this recipe by selling your first potato. His select gifts are mostly crops, with turnips being the easiest one to acquire. Then we have Dozy, whose birthday is on fall 16. Dozy's loved gifts are wood and hardwood, which are pretty easy to get. While Dozy's liked gifts are eggs and common insects like grasshoppers and butterflies which can be found around town. Up next is Terithia, whose birthday is on fall 22. 
Her love gifts are meals prepared with fish like cod with thyme, fish stew, lobster roll, perch risotto, and more. You can try your luck as sometimes the fish stew is available at the inn. Her like gifts, the crayfish etouffee and pan-fried salmon, are also sold at the inn but more regularly compared to her other love gifts, at least in my playthrough. Next up is Del, whose birthday falls on Winter 3. Her loved gifts are the swords that you can get from digging, and a jam sandwich that you can make or buy from the inn. She likes stone, wood, and cattail fluff, which you can get in any season except winter, and also trail mix that you can make with these. Moving on, we have Henrietta, whose birthday is on Winter 7. She loves animal feeds. You can make these at the mill with grass seed and water chestnut. Her light gifts are wild berries that are forageable around town during spring, and grass seeds that you can get from slicing up weeds. Next, we have Arrow, whose birthday is on Winter 11. He loves Miner's Helmet, an artifact that you can get from digging, and white wine that you can buy from the inn. He likes Copper Ore and Sweet Root, both of which can be obtained in the early levels of the mine. Then we have Hemlock, whose birthday is on Winter 23. He loves beer, hot toddy, and white wine. All of these can be bought at his inn. His select gifts are trail mix, which you can make using these ingredients, and coffee that you can buy from the Saturday market. Moving on to the Saturday market vendors. We have Vera, whose birthday is on summer 6. She loves gazpacho, which you can buy from Bally's shop from time to time. Her let gifts are coconut milk, which you can make using coconut, and orange juice, both of which you can buy from the inn. Next up is Mary. Her birthday is on fall 6. She loves golden animal byproducts like wool, horns, and feathers. It's not the easiest to get though, so I'll just recommend gifting her her liked gifts. She likes stone and wood, which are fairly easy to get. And she also likes lattes that can be bought at the Saturday market. Up next is Louis, whose birthday is on fall 20. He loves middle mist, a forageable spring flower. He also loves red wine and white wine, which you can buy from the inn. He likes lilac, bristle, and cattail fluff. Then we have Darcy, whose birthday is on winter 13. She loves milk from cows, sugar that you can buy from the general store, and coconut milk that you can make using only a coconut or you can buy it from the inn. She likes flour, which you can buy from the general store, and any seasonal fruits that you can forage all year round. And those are all the characters that you can gift for now. The Priestess and Caldaris are not included as they cannot be gifted yet in this current early access version. And since the information here is from early access, there might be some changes along the way. If there are any, we'll be keeping you posted in the comments section. And if you haven't seen it already, we share some beginner mistakes we made in the game that hopefully you won't have to go through if you check this out. So if you're enjoying Fields of Mystery as much as we do, click on the video so you won't miss out. Stay awesome gamers!